Alright, so before I bite off this damn Hemi project, swapping it into my 68, which is right here by the way, this is the famous Hemi engine and NAG1 transmission going in 68. I figured, you know what, it probably wouldn't hurt to get the TT Celine up and running because it's been sitting over here in the corner for a couple months. And wouldn't you know it, to, it's August. It's officially been one year since I actually took the transmission out of this car. And then in October of last year is when I actually pulled the motor out to freshen up. And at the time it had been over 12 years since the original engine had been out to be freshened up. And for a quick recap, um, it's a 5.4, four valve headed uh, GT supercar heads and cams ported by Melvin Fastlane, built by Melvin at Fastlane. Um, pretty much a, just a pretty common build nowadays, nothing exotic, but back in, you know, 2008, 2009, we put it together, it was pretty exotic stuff. Uh, twin 67 turbos, air to air, intercooler here, uh, right up front, don't mind the transmission lines here, but a huge six core air to air intercooler, these are the piping run together. One tube goes up and feeds the motor. Um, pretty basic, pretty basic stuff. Um, it's literally kicked every single transmission out that I put behind this car, but the motor has been rock solid. Um, after so many years, the valve springs for a week need to be replaced. And I went in there, I don't run air filters on these turbos, just screens. And we saw a little bit of wear on the bearings, which doesn't surprise me. Um, again, not running filters on your turbos will do that, but it was minor. I mean, nothing, nothing bad. Thrust bearing looked good on the back of the motor where a lot of guys have a converter or transmission pushing too hard and they knocked the thrust bearing out of it. Mine actually looked fine. Considering all the transmissions, that was phenomenal. Um, but anyway, I had Melvin fresh it up. Uh, while we went in there, we decided to go ahead and change the pistons. So I actually went to a different, I took the CP pistons out, which are about nine and a quarter to one compression. We end up going to a more of a flat top design piston. It's a diamond piston coated and all the fancy new stuff on it uh, available today. And um, it has a closer to about 10 and a half, 10, 10 and a half compression on it now. I do plan to run E85 on this car in the future, but for now I'm running the stock computer, which won't run the fancy Bosch injectors I want to run, which Caleb and Logan, all the guys at the shop are running nowadays. So for now, it's exactly like it was when I took it apart last year. Uh, other than uh, more compression, fresh valve springs. Um, the problem was when I went to take the balancer off, somehow over the years, it, the crank bolt loosened up and the balancer screwed up at the end of the crank. So it has a brand new crankshaft, same crankshaft I had, but it's a new crankshaft in it. Um, same billet rods, all new bearings, uh, new pistons, new rings, new oil pump, all, all the normal stuff that you would change when you're in there. But again, valve job, new valve springs, and same cams. Nothing real major changes, just basically new pistons and different compression. So because we're waiting for a transmission, which I still don't have, and I'm not gonna put one in it this year, I've just decided to work on the charger. And uh, I, as you know, in the last year, first this year, I built the Mach 1 and completely went overboard building a new motor for that, a Tremec uh, Magnum six speed in it. I decided to work on this, and I worked on it the last couple days getting it all put together and hooking up all the connections, all the wiring, the grounds, everything. But with no transmission, as you can see here, clearly, you gotta figure out a way to make this thing run. So what I did was I went in here and I made a little bracket here with the motor plate in between to support the starter. And this is my ground wire from the battery because that needs extra grounds. So what I've got here is I got everything hooked up and I got a support here to hold the starter. So I can still crank the motor over. I know, right? And um, hopefully gonna try this out, see if we can spin the motor over a few times, get some oil pressure built up. Then I'll plug in the fuel pumps and uh, put some gas through it. And uh, hopefully we'll fire this motor up and break it in and get it running. So at least that part will be done. So the car would technically be ready to go and run and drive. It just needs a transmission. So at least going into the winter time, if I had a transmission stick in it, it'd be good to go. But I'm gonna be working on this project next. I just didn't want this car sitting here and you know, it's like a puzzle. You start leaving all the pieces laying around, you start losing stuff. So that's a quick recap. Uh, last night I already hooked up the fuel pumps and bled the fuel system out and got all the old gas and all that flushed out and cleaned everything up. So that part's done. So I'm getting ready to 
hook it all up and see if we can spin it over and get some oil pressure. Spinning it over, getting the oil a chance to circulate around and making sure everything looks good. Now I've got the fuel pumps unhooked so there's no fuel pressure right now. Everything's turning over so my little trick with the starter seems to be working. So I guess now we'll hook up the fuel pumps, we'll see what that does.